We enjoy doing what we are told not to do. Without minding other people, without thinking about our fellow housemates. We are happy doing it because they enjoy us doing it with them. But have you ever thought of that girl who is suffering in a house? Just innocently, she did not do anything, but she's suffering for someone's acts. It's because of people like this. Ndo ata wakiambiwa wasijaribu kufanya kitu, yani mnaambiwa peupe kabisa. Ukienda kwa nyumba bora, fanya kazi nyeme kupeleka. Endo ufanye hivi na hivi na hivi na hivi. Lakini unafika, unaona hapana, I have to do extra work. You are enjoying so much doing all these things. To start with this girl. Sometime back she was trending. Because of the act that she did. And the internet never forgets. Where is she today? This girl was returned in Kenya in a wheelchair. Who knows what happens to her? We do not know what really happened to her. But right now she is not in Arab countries. There was also another lady. Back then she was in Iraq. The same, same thing, the same, same she is doing right now, that is what the same lady was doing. It. What happened to her after she was asking for help? She was thrown outside and right now she is Kenya as we speak. She went in Kenya in a very bad shape. We never learn. We never learn. Even at any given opportunity, we don't listen. Now here comes another one who is very happy dancing to our grandfather and she feels like she owns the whole world. It's okay. I have no problem with you doing all this. But what I want you to think and to put in consideration is how about that innocent person who is suffering out there because of other people's actions? How about those people who are dead and their bodies are lined up to date in the mortuaries and the governments are doing nothing to make sure that our people are safe. It's people like this. With all your bad actions. Makes other people suffer in these countries. Think about your actions. Think about what you do. Are you okay doing it? And do you think about your fellow sisters and brothers. What they feel and what they go through. Of course you don't. Because if you do you will not do this such thing. I am so ashamed of my sisters. I am so ashamed of these people who can take a camera and do something that they know they are not supposed to do. Hii ni mbaya sana. Na kama unachukua camera na unaanza kudance na mwanaume wenyewe unaanza kudance na Mwarabu tena mwanaume mge kwa at least hiyo courage yote na hiyo nguvu yote mnaeka kwa kudance na wanawake inaeleweka. Lakini chenye mnakatazwa na chenye mnajua kabisa hamfai kufanya ndicho mnafuatilia. Let me tell you. Chenye mnatafuta mtakipata but mimi hata sisikii vibaya juu hawa wenye wanajipeleka wanaojipeleka kufanya yale mambo yanafanya i feel so bad because i have heard of so many people wenye wanateseka just innocently mtu ajakosa mtu ajafanya chochote lakini boss wake yako na hasira juu ya video ya mwana mali fulani boss wake yako na hasira juu ya mkenya aliona mali fulani ama mwafrika aliona mali fulani akifanya kitu fulani na hiyo hasira yote inapelekewa mfanyikazi mwenye hata ajui ni nini amekosa na inaenda hapo watu kupoteza maisha yao inaenda hapo kila kitu na tukilalamika kila siku we are complaining like serikali tusaidieni lakini what do they say agents wanatoka wanasema sisi ndo wabaya agents wanatoka wanasema hapana wafanyikazi ndo wabaya ndo wawasikii wanaenda wanatoroshwa wanaenda wanafanywa hivyo wanaenda wana dance na wanaume mpaka inafika mahali serikali haiwezi saidia watu na kuna wale wako innocent lakini wale ambao ni vichongumu kama hawa ndo hata wanafanya watu wengine wasishughulikiwe wakati wako na shida au ndo wanauma. Lakini acha nikwambie, right now you might think that tunapiga kelele sana na tunaingilia mambo yenye haya tuhusu. But if you don't change your attitude, if you don't change your habits, kuna siku itafika na utalia peke yako. Kuna siku itafika na utatamani ungefanya hivyo. Because as I said, the internet never forgets. Things you did back in two years or maybe three years will always be remembered till the day you will die. Ata after umekufa, bado mambo yako na matendo yako yote tazidi kukumbukwa. So what are you doing? Yani uko kwa Mwarabu, hii nguvu mnatoa wapi lakini? Uko kwa Mwarabu lakini una feel tu uko tu sawa kabisa uendelee na kufanya maovu yako yote. Uendelee kufanya kile kitu ambacho unajua kimekataliwa, kile kitu ambacho kinakatazwa na kinasababisha watu wengi kukufa, wewe ndicho unakimlilia. Wenzetu wanauliwa bure wewe ndo unaenda kujitafutia kifo. Watu wengine hawajipendi.